Hello everyone, Silver Conundrum here. I come to you today with another topic. Another topic of what is M2 Money Supply. So let's get started, shall we? So M2 Money Supply is a calculation of money supply that includes all elements of M1 as well as what's called near money. M1 includes things such as cash, checking deposits, while while near money refers to savings deposits, uh, money market securities, mutual funds, and other time deposits. Now, what's a time deposit, you might ask? Well, a time deposit is anything that is deposited into an electronic account. Let's say, for example, your paycheck goes in on Thursday, but it doesn't clear until Friday. That right there is a time deposit. Now, these assets are less liquid than M1, and they're not as well suitable as exchange of mediums, but they can also be liquidated very quickly. So this is like, how to put this, like, assets like stocks that can be liquidated silver gold um jewelry anything that you can liquidate actually goes into what is known as the uh, m2 money supply so some of the things you really want to uh, take away from this is the m2 money supply is a measure of money that includes cash checking deposits and easily convertible near money Remember, near money is things like silver, gold, jewelry, land, stocks, bonds, things that you can easily liquidate. Um, but the M2 money supply is broader measure of the money supply of than M1 because M1, remember, is only about your cash and your coins and your, let's say, your debits and ATMs and things like that. But this will include cash and checking deposits as well as far as the M2 money supply. So, anyway... So the M2 is closely watched as an indicator of money supply in the future inflation, as well as targeted central bank's monetary policy. So as you guys remember from a previous video that we did recently, M1 money supply is no longer taken into effect because we've printed so much money that it doesn't even exist. Like it doesn't even matter anymore. I mean, we have more dollar bills then I think there's people on earth, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, there's definitely more money than people on earth. So that, that was stupid to say, but I mean, you get the idea. But anyway, let's go on with the, some of the other things though. M2 money supply, that's what they use to calculate inflation, guys. So when they look at the M2 money supply, they basically say, yeah, we're, we're in some trouble. Because the M2 as a measurement of the money supply is critical factor for forecasting and issuing things like inflation. So, you know, they always wanted to say, we want to go up by 2%, 4% on a two-year basis. So, first year is 2%, second year is 2%. But that's what they use, the M2 money supply, to gauge, like, where are we at? With all the assets combined, with all of the um, money and the coins combined, where do we sit as an economy and that's what they use to actually adjust for the money for inflation uh later on we'll be talking about the m3 money supply and what does it do and what does it measure so if you have any questions comments i hope this helps you out a little bit but anyway guys hope you all have a great day and i will definitely see you guys on the next go around catch y'all on the next one later